All right, fellas, I'm good for Derek Shelton. Shelton, I know this is kind of a general one to start with, but, I mean, what do you take away from a game like this where you have a 10-run lead, you lose most of it, but you still find a way to get a, a win that you so desperately need for this team? I take away that we got to win. <laughs> that, that's what I take away from it. Uh, I think two things I take away from it. Number one, well, three things. I'm going to say three things. Number one, we got to win. Number two, Chad Cool was really good. You know, he did a really nice job, gave us a really good start. And number three, man, it was really cool to be in this ballpark with it bouncing because it was bouncing in the ninth. They got into it, and that was really cool to see. That's something, you know, been waiting to see, and our fans got after it, and that was awesome. Shelty, do you think four double plays should just be part of the game plan for Chad going forward? Yeah, I'll sign up for that. If we can go four double plays, I mean, if we could go three, I'll just take three if he's going to throw six innings, you know, not to get greedy. But, yeah, he did a nice job. I mean, he put the ball on the ground. We had for the three of them, uh, you know, and then the line drive one was really good. I mean, the slider was good. He did a nice job. He executed pitches all night, kept them off balance. Uh, you know, I know the game, you know, turned out a little ugly there, but uh, Chad Cool's start was was really important for us. There's, uh, just getting into the decision to pull uh, Chad there, was it more about – sorry, there's mortar fire. That's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, was, was it more about uh, the offensive situation or was there something with Cool that you saw as well? No, I mean, Cool had done his job, and then we had right-hander and four left-handers. It's a perfect spot for, for Sam Howard to come in uh, the game and, and execute. And, you know, from after Chad came out, with the exception of Richie, we just did not execute pitches. And that's why the game got close. And Derek, I, I know it's way early in the game, but uh, the team did seem to be in, in better spirits with that batting practice thing, whatever they did. Is it a sort of a coincidence that you guys sort of jump out to that great start there? Well, if, if that was the case, we should have done this like eight days ago, nine days ago. Uh, I, I do think they had a little fun, you know, in – when you lose 10 games in a row and you come off an off day and there was a lot of guys that probably sat at home and thought about it. Uh, the fact that the players were able to create something themselves to have some fun was, uh, was important. So to say it played a part in, I would say, yes, it did. And I give credit to Tyler Anderson on that. Shoney, I know this is what you signed up for as a big league manager, but how stressful were those last couple of innings? I mean, you go from 11 to one to 11 to 10. Yeah, they were not easy. I think I drank like five bottles of water, faced a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, you know, to, to our guys' credit, to our offense's credit, we got runs early. You know, they came back and extended innings and, you know, got five more. Uh, you know, I felt uh, comfortable with Richie on the mound there in the ninth. He, he's done a nice job all year, regardless if it's a three-run lead, four-run lead, one-run lead, and uh, he got it done, which was important. Tonight was, tonight was a big win for us. Shelty, just your own like self evaluation. Like you guys, you know, you you put Moran out there in like the sixth inning, and obviously you can look back on that and be like, well, I really wish we had Moran in the lineup like later in the game. Like, how do you look back? It's obviously a crazy game, and there are I'm sure things you can look back at with like hindsight point And like, I don't know, how do you kind of self evaluate that? That was a big one because his spot would have come up, you know, in the uh, his spot would have come up in the ninth if that was the case. And, you know, I think the big thing is, is, you know, he had had back spasms the other day. I thought we could buy three innings in an 11-1 game uh, of him being, you know, not on the field to keep him off his feet. And, you know, when you're up 11-1, you have to be able to cover that game. And, and that was what my thought was. But, yeah, to, to say that it didn't cross my mind, Mike, would, would be lying to you. It definitely crossed my mind. Eric, I, I know you're not going to say that you – you don't have confidence in, in the guys on your team. Uh, obviously, you do. But is there a point where a guy keeps struggling the way, you know, sort of Clay Holmes has in a little bit here, where you sort of reevaluate uh, how he's being deployed and when? Yeah, I mean, Clay Holmes got a big out for us. I mean, he big punch out to get us out of that inning at in 11 to 10. But, you know, I, I think with, with anything, we have to evaluate at all times, you know, what guys are doing and what roles they're going to pitch in. But the, the big thing for that, I mean, we're up 11 to 1. We have to execute. And we did not execute. And not only did we not execute, but we walked guys, we hit guys uh, to put them in situations to extend it. And and we just we have to be better than that. All good for Derek. Or is there anything else? Hey Mac, was this a dress-up night or what? I was out at a movie premiere with my wife. 
Oh, I, you're fancy. I wanted to make sure I was in attendance so I didn't get criticized. Um, by fancy. People. I, I appreciate <laughs> you here. dressing up. I appreciate you dressing up. You got yeah. it. All right. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. Okay, fellas, of Chad Cool. Here, questions for Chad. Chad, really good outing, man. Uh, what was working for you tonight? Um, I mean, basketball command was there. Um, obviously, defense was, you know, the you know big biggest part of my game. Um, you know, we scored eleven runs, and um, you know, I was able to, you know, just try and put the ball on the ground. We had some, you know, incredible, you know, plays behind me, and uh, you know, just had to lean on the defense. And um, you know, that was that was the real story of of you know, the first half of the night. Chad, let me ask you about the second half of the game. <laughs> what, what, what was it like to, I mean, sit in the dugout after coming out and like watch that? Like, obviously, you have confidence in your guys, but that, I mean, it was just, it was just kind of chaos was ensuing. Yeah, it's just one of those things, man. That's, um, you know, you have all the confidence in the world. These guys have been, you know, you know, pitching their tails off. Um, you know, Sam Howard's been so good for us, man. Um, you know, just you know, one of those things where you know, just baseball happens. You know, it's. You know, a rough night for him, but you know that's why we constantly have you know guys that you, know, you need to lean on. You know, you come in and you know Bedner, you know Clay, Crick, all these guys, and then Richie, you know, um, you know gets a little bit of trouble, but but slams the door. So it's just um, really nice to have um, guys that can continuously pick guys up. Um, you know that that have been good all year long in that bullpen. And how good is it from a oh, sorry. Chad, from a mental standpoint, how good is it to finally have a W next to your name in the box score? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, you know, it's one of those things where it's just, I just want to win. Um, you know, it's um, you know, nice to get it attributed to you, but it's just nice to put together another outing where, um, you know, I gave the team a chance to win. And, um, you know, it doesn't really matter to me who gets a, a W next to their name. I just, I just want to win. What did it mean to you be the guy that was the stopper of that streak? Right, yeah, that, that's what, you know, really it comes down to. It's, you know, 10 games, you know, a couple of ugly games, you know, a couple of close games, you know, it just felt like we lost um, in some tough ways. And, um, you know, to finally, no matter how it looked, you know, put the end of that uh, is, is a really good feeling. Chad, I uh, know you had sort of a unique perspective of the pregame festivities there. Uh, so you watching with Trevor. Um, obviously couldn't really participate much, but did you notice that pregame, the mood was a little more upbeat than it had been in the past week and a half? And did you did you guys come into this one with a little more confidence than you've had lately? Yeah, I just think everybody had a, an opportunity to kind of get away from you know, their personal successes or failures and just kind of enjoy um, pulling for one another and, you know, talking trash to the other side. And just, um, I think it, it got us just in a better frame of mind, uh, you know, better better team uh, frame of mind. Uh, and it just, it showed out there early. You know, it was, it was a lot of fun. I think guys were uh, into each other's at bats, you know, cheering for you guys on the mound and, um, you know, just kind of was a, a different feel out there. Chad, I know after your last start, you talked about the balls being like pearls. Do you feel like those comments had an impact on the type of baseballs that you guys were using after that the rest of the week? And did you get any feedback, whether it was brushback or positive reaction? No, I think you could, you know, whether they said it or not, I think it was echoed pretty much, um, you know, throughout our clubhouse. It's just, there's just a consistency when it comes to, you know, when you go, you know, on the road or home, wherever it is, it just needs to be a consistency um, with that baseball. I threw out, you know, probably half as many as I did, but it's still, um, you know, there's some room for improvement. And I think that that's going to be um, the biggest thing going forward is if, you know, obviously we're going to get checked for, you know, substances, whatever, that's all well and good, but there needs to be a, a, a standard for baseballs that are coming into our hands as, as pitchers. Did you find that there was better consistency after you made your comments is what I mean? Uh, maybe not on the road. I didn't really, you know, you know, um, I, I think that it's just different wherever you go. I think that's 
the, the problem. Um, you know, when we get them here, we know what, we're, what we can expect. We get, you know, a, a solid group of baseballs today, but it just it needs to be league wide. If they're going to, you know, mandate and, um, like I said, with all, all the stick and all that stuff and whatever guys we're using or not using, it needs to be a standard throughout the league. Ed, going back to your outing for a little bit, um, it, since you've come off the aisle, it seems like you've been a little more slider heavy with your approach. How much of that was like a conscious something that you wanted to do and how much of it is just game field? Because obviously that's been the pitch that you've usually gone to whenever you're in trouble. Yeah, it's just a nice pitch that I can rely on. Um, I feel like I can throw it for strikes or for outs or for swing and miss. It's just kind of a, a pitch that I use in all scenarios. But, um, you know, it, it plays just so much better when my fastball is in the zone. And that's that's really what it comes down to. And, you know, outings like this where I'm super efficient, um, you know, the, the, the slider just plays off the fastball and, and that fastball command. But uh, the slider is a pitch that I just feel very comfortable with. Baseball Savant was tracking a lot of those fastballs as four seamers. Was it just misclassified or are you moving a little away from the sinker there? Uh, no, I threw a, a lot of four seamers today. Um, I feel like it played, um, you know, better to the lefties, um, you know, up in the zone. Um, felt like I could get it to the uh, to the outside corner um, and not have it run off. Um, so I threw a, a good of a good bit of four seamers just by design today. All right, all good for Chad. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you for hanging on. Gregory Polanco is in the chair. Questions for Greg? So, Gregor, do you feel like home field advantage was a little bit of what helped you guys with that outburst in the five run first inning? Like, obviously, you guys put in the work, but how much did you feed off of that energy? Oh, man, it's always, you know, being home, always help. You know, the crowd, just being home, man, it just, it's always help. It's always great to be home and, you know, we always do, uh, play good here. So, you know, it just, we just same, you know, just being home, what's good. Greg, did the uh, game you guys played before, the actual game with the BP there in the cage, did that sort of lift everybody's spirits a little bit and, and, and sort of, obviously it's a coincidence that you guys come out and have that five run first, but we, did you guys come into this game with a little higher spirits than you'd had in the past 10 days? Oh yeah, the, the game that we played earlier today. <laughs> yes, man, for sure. Uh, that helps, that helps because we, we, we enjoy, we forgot, you know, we forgot what we went through, you know, like whatever. We just we come, come here, we come here today and you say we decide let's okay let's go ho have fun and do this game whatever you know we play we enjoy the during practice and we come and when we came and you know you see you see what happened tonight so uh, for sure it helps were you working on stuff when you were doing that or was that sort of a let's just go have fun and do something that'll no no but like we actually we were like you know there was situation like a move the runner bring the run in you know we, it was it was just a game just you know man and second two outs whatever you know it was just a game like three out it was just like that and the machine was actually trying to go hard so you know Uri, how would you summarize those last couple of innings where they started to come back there like was were there any nerves or anything like that I guess what was running through your mind no man I trust I trust the bullpen I trust the uh, our guy you know thing is gonna happen that, that that happened to the best pitcher that happened to any any guys and anything so we just gotta we just gotta keep competing we gotta keep competing and th th there's nothing there's not anything in, in, in baseball like that they're gonna uh, give up they, every time they up there, they're trying to score a run, you know? So we there's no pressure, there's no nerves, no nothing on that. Just keep competing and you know, like like we did today, we got we got the W. Is there a time there though that you looked, thought about like, hey, we were up eleven to one and now it's eleven to ten? Like was there a part that like how did this happen? Did that cross your mind at all? 
No, no, man. Hey, hey, the bullpen, the guys, they go over there and trying to do their job, man. You know, that's the same if I'm hitting with, with men and we uh, bases loaded and I strike out. It's just the same, you know. I'm trying to do the, I'm trying to do my job. So they're trying to do their job. They just, they didn't have it today, you know. You did, you did, especially with your first at bat. Uh, what was it like to, to hit that home run and to kind of get off to a good start? Uh, Especially when you're making solid contact like that. Oh yeah, that's that was that was that was nice. Uh, you know, especially uh, I come from that road trip. And I only had like three hits, and and I hit that that ball in the first in the first inning. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a good start. So you know, that gave me a lot of confidence. It don't matter what happened after, and I feel really good right now. And I'm gonna keep competing. I'm gonna keep swinging, and you know, like I feel like my swing getting better every day. What has changed for you that you feel good? I, I don't know. I just get into the to the ball now. I, you know, the fastball is not beating me anymore. So that's that, that's a big thing for, for me. So I'm gonna just keep keep uh, throwing my hand to the ball, staying short, and keep swinging the fastball. All good for Greg. Thank you, guys. Tomorrow on the tent the schedule for uh, the general manager will start us tomorrow at noon, followed by Shelty around 1245. All right, guys. Have a great night. See you, guys. Thank you.